let me show you how I turn this into this for less than 600 bucks. So this VFR has 110,000 miles, R ridden hard, put away wet. A little bit of a rough life, but you know, 110,000 miles, what are you gonna get? Suspiciously non-original, such as this Corbin seat. I think there's even a hole here to let the farts out. And it's either fallen down here, scrape marks here from the previous owner. I, I guess that could have been done with sandpaper if he really wanted it that way. I don't know that that's the way it came. Center stand runs on the chain. We got single-sided swing arm. It's got a bunch of stuff that probably gonna need to come off, you know, a charcoal canister, or a smog pump. Uh, we have these cool six-piston calipers from Pre-Tech. We got stickers that say Lindemann Engineering that does suspension, and they got a sticker all the way in there that says LE, so I think we got full custom suspension. But uh, I've already cleaned it up some. This was leaking very, very bad. Maybe the fork seals went out like 50,000 miles ago. And I just don't think that that's how it came. Yeah, probably not. We got some extra wires. I think it has heated grips. Although, maybe, maybe those overheated. That's the fuel pump. You can see that this has been notched, I think. Maybe the guy had a really big right shoulder. All right, let's get this thing inside on the lift and tear her apart. There'll be a lot of parts we don't need anymore. Ah, 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 ah. Oops. Oh, I need that. Oh dear. There we go. I'm gonna need this. Oh, wait. There we go. Hey, the fuel pump goes there. That's why it's broken. Better than I cut that all off. Oh, don't throw light bulbs. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these tail lockers before, but they were a cool little accessory back in the day for some sport bikes. And then unlatch it and you have a cool little storage. Oh, free tools. I have to sell that on eBay. Mirror holding the fairing on. The other mirror. There we go. Oh. An extra wire to do something here. Seems to be a two-piece windscreen now. Oh, three. And I'm trying to save the gauges. Put those on eBay too. Slightly bent. Ah, not original wiring. Power lift on the handlebars. Ah, the shame if somebody cut it. Oh, there it goes. Well, I don't know if that JB Weld is original here and this bug screen catcher is original. Come on. Small pump is definitely going away. For the front. All right, this exhaust will not come off. I've got it all loose and it is stuck right there. I got some penetrating oil on it. Pull some other things off like uh, coolant reservoir. Uh, See if we can make a new one. Charcoal canister, definitely don't need that. Heat guard for your foot around the exhaust. You know, what's a little burn? Smog vent things? Smog vent? I don't know. Yep, yep, it's gone. Bracket to hold that. Aha! There we go. There it is. And she's off. And we'll put this on eBay. All right, well, she's stripped. Problem is up here and back here, I have too much wire harness. I'm not gonna use like a side stand switch and a couple other things. All right, here's all the parts we took off of it. That's a lot. All right, so we're on our way down to the motorcycle salvage yard. We're gonna see if we can't find ourselves a new seat and tail and uh, some uh, side fairings for it. All right, we'll see if we can't find a tail section off of a newer sport bike that's kind of small. Trim it down. Now, gotta try the Honda. 
into one. That one might work. That's not bad. Need a welding blanket, but I got some cardboard and we'll just kind of tuck that in there and hope it doesn't burn down. There's a garden hose over there somewhere. Rim protector out of there. <laughs> it's stuck inside. <laughs> this was not planned. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Don't need no stinking bearing driver. And as I've taken off all of the smog stuff, I've got rid of a bunch of hoses and solenoids and valves. We just won't tell the government that we took that stuff off. And I had some extra holes and hoses and I've capped some stuff off. And I was telling my wife about it and she said, well, let me put in my two cents. And I was thinking, you haven't built motorcycles before. And she says, no, no, no. She runs off and then comes back and then she hands me something to cap off the air box. It works. So apparently my lint-free cloths that I used to wipe down before I painted are not so much. Cause there is lint everywhere and I'm like, it's fresh paint, I'm gonna It's okay. We're gonna sand it down, wet sand it with a thousand grit and get all the lint off of there and then put more color on there and then we can go to the clear. And then we light them on fire. Well, these builds always cost you something. That could have gone a lot deeper. But I got a shimmer and shine band-aid. You'd be surprised if you knew how many race bikes and race cars use cardboard engineering to make some of their stuff.
threw up a super cool chain guard with integrated license plate mount in 3D and I just got it in. Now I left it a little bit long here because I wasn't sure how it looks, so I gotta carve that up and it'll, it'll look very nice. It's so hot, like 100 degrees today. All right, I've cut up this vinyl paint mask in rivets that we're gonna stick on all the bodywork and paint on all the rivets. But the paint didn't turn out so good. The sticker mask wasn't sticking in spots and I got overspray underneath it. Then I tried switching to regular sticker and it pulled up the clear coat. I was so sad. I didn't want to even keep painting anymore. All I could think about is that I just would have to start all over again. I'll figure something out as I go. I'm too far in. Click, click. That was my calibrated wristometer. It's torqued correctly now. We're going straight exhaust on this Think less Formula Superbike, more V8 Dragster. But we needed to cut down the rear sprocket for a 520 chain. So the right way to do this is to take this sprocket off and put it on a lathe and turn it down. But we're not gonna do that because we're gonna do it sketchy way. Then we run the trusty angle grinder while it's running. Now, you try this at home and you lose a finger. Don't mention me. So apparently when you buy a $400 used bike, it doesn't come with the toolkits. Disregard what you're about to see. Then I figured out my paint problem. Cover the issues in bullet holes. So I bought the bike for $400. All the parts I bought cost $747. And then I took some parts off of the original bike, sold them on eBay for $570, bringing the total build cost to $577. All right, so now that it's all together, tear it back apart. Uh, I went to go fire it up from sitting for a couple months. It wouldn't start and then it flooded like a lot, and then I tear it all apart and fixed it. And now we're back running.